This is the third in the series of screencasts on parameterized curves. And in this screencast, I want to focus on the following parameterization. R of t is equal to t a t squared. t is any real number. And this, maybe you'll recognize, is the parameterization of a parabola. And the discussion here has both a, an algebraic and a geometric component. Uh, and let me start with the, the algebraic here. So in this case, uh, what I want to consider is actually uh, eliminating the parameter t from the parameterization. That is to say, it's going to be rather obvious in this case. This is x, and this is, of course, y. And what I'd like to do is eliminate t from, from this expression. So t, I can just solve t is x. And so y, which is equal to at squared, simply becomes ax squared. And so I have y is equal to ax squared, and I've eliminated t. And even though I've emphasized from the beginning what a wonderful thing parameterizations are, giving expressing curves in terms of some parameter, there are times in which, in fact, in order to best understand or best work out how to plot a curve, you want to eliminate that parameter. And this is one of those. And for the simple reason that we all know what a uh, what y is equal to ax squared looks like, well, hopefully anyway. And so let's uh, let's look at what it looks like, and that brings me to the geometric aspect. So here's a coordinate system, uh, usual x and y, and I'm now going to draw the curves. Uh, I can't use my fancy thing; I just have to draw it by hand. And so I'm going to draw y is equal to ax squared. That's not too bad. All right, so there's there's an example. And in this case, hopefully, more or less, uh, let's look. Uh, this would correspond to a case where a is, in fact, positive and less than 1. Let's see if we can understand that. Well, I'll take that to be the point uh, x is equal to 1. Well, if x is equal to 1, assuming my, my um, coordinate system is equally spaced, when x is equal to 1, y is equal to a, and uh, this, this a is smaller than 1, so this, this curve here corresponds to a, let me do it this way, a is less than 1, but again bigger than 0. How do I know it's bigger than 0? It's bigger than 0 because the y values are positive, so x is, so a is clearly positive to get positive values of y. And let's just for fun, let's draw another example. Let's draw a case where a is negative, and I'll draw it negative and with large magnitude, so there it is. So in this case, a is negative, and at 1, when x is equal to 1, y is so uh, so negative I can't even see it on this graph, so I don't know what a is, but a here is less than 1, and it's, excuse me, it's less than 0. In fact, it's uh, very much less than minus 1. That should be very familiar. Something else you can say about this is that because we have a parameterization, however, it's quite easy to consider cases which wouldn't be functions, y is a function of x, but x is a function of y. In terms of parameterizations, for example, we can do a t squared t. So I simply flip x for y, and I think you can see, I'll plot it, uh, let's say, here. So let's do a case where a is negative, a is negative, and I have a parabola opening to the left in this case. So this is a is less than zero. Let's go on. And I want to cons can stay on the parabolas, but I want to consider other parameterizations. So in this case, it's rather obvious, uh, I hope anyway, certainly after I've done this algebra, it's rather obvious that this describes a parabola. You could be presented with parameterizations where it's less obvious that the curve is a parabola. For example, suppose you were given r of t is equal to sine of t and a sine squared. And I don't like this thing here. I'm going to move it. Let's just get the way. So given this, t an element. So what we can say about this, uh, one thing though I'm going to put on here, one thing even, I'm going to put the direction, the orientation of the curve. I'll let you think about that, that that's the correct orientation. So let's do this. Let's look at this parameterization. And again, I'll draw a coordinate system. I'll draw it over here. There's my coordinate system. What does this curve look like? Well, 
uh, you can see right away that it can't be the uh, it can't be the same as um, as this previous because uh, x can never exceed one in magnitude. X is strictly between minus one and one. Likewise, y is between uh, uh, zero and a. So uh, let's just, let's assume that a has the same value as in this case. Let me try and draw that piece of that curve. This. So in fact, I you can see this. In fact, this parameterization is only a piece of the, the parabola that was drawn here. Of course, this is only a piece of the whole parabola. The whole parabola goes off to x infinity and y infinity. Um, but there's a, you know, it's meant to indicate that it goes on forever. Here, it, it simply ends. Let's indicate that. It ends here when x is 1 or minus 1. And y has the value of a. It's again, assumed positive here. Just to be completely clear. So when, when t is 0, say, I'm here, that would be where I, t is equal to 0, I'm at the origin, x equal y equals 0. As t increases, 1 moves up the curve, reaching this point where t is equal to pi on 2. I then turn around and uh, retrace the curve, now going in this direction, come up here at t equal, going through at the origin again at t equal pi, here this is 3 pi on 2. Again, I turn around and I come back to the origin at t equal 2 pi, etc. And so I oscillate infinitely many times up and down this curve and I never reach off to infinity. It may not always be immediately obvious that uh, oh, the nature of the curve and you may have to actually do some solving to be fairly clear, but suppose I had r of t is equal to t cubed a t to the sixth. Again, you know this is going to be the problem because I'm discussing it, but what would you do if it wasn't, uh, if you hadn't seen it immediately? Well, you set this equal to x. So x is equal to t cubed. That is to say, you can solve for the parameter. If you can solve the, from the param for the parameter, you go ahead and do it. It's x to the one third. So I now have here y is equal to a t to the sixth. I now know what t is, it's x to the one third, and this gives me, of course, back to my parabola. All right, so that's how you, you might go ahead and do this. And in this case, again, this will describe exactly the same parabola as this parameterization. And just for fun, I'll give you one more. Suppose one had been given this parameterization. And what would the curve be? So I'll let you, I'll let you think about that. All right. So, um, so that's all I have to say about this. And uh, I'll pause and go on to the next screencast.